Man, you're breaking stuff faster than I can fix it. <laughs>
one's that smooth. one's a little shitty, but yeah, it ain't cracked. Oh man, does it look good? Yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> looks better than the one I brought. Can you uh, let me get you have anything to I grab, I got, sand it with? I got a point file. Oh, perfect. Because we can spin it over on the point file, and yeah, this looks like brand like it just rolled off the showroom floor. <laughs> Just like the rest of the dozer. Yeah. <laughs> we found the we found the first part that looks like new. <laughs> so give me the rundown on these levers again, Josh. All right, so high and low range. So you got your pony running. Let's just explain yep. it from the start. You got your paint pony running. Pony running, Bendix. So starter gear, clutch snapped in. Then high and low range. This has to be down on. When you first start, that's compression release, that's half, and that's full. It won't start until you put that back up into full, but that's full compression up on the top. Okay. And then once it starts, snap the clutch out and throw the Bendix back out of gear. And then how do yeah. you shut the pony off once you're out of gear? There's a key right here that just kills the Kills the, kills the pony? But don't, yeah. don't mess with that. No. Just leave it on on all the time and kill it with the fuel. Do you want to run the pony out of fuel? I want to run it out of fuel. I'll do it every single time. Just shut it off with that instead of using yeah. that they'll shake around and dump all the fuel back into the basement if you don't run them out so do you want to let the pony run for a while usually the rule of thumb is three minutes so this... after your big motor's running no no you want to let them roll the big motor over for like three minutes before you give them any fuel but once you got the big motor running you kick your bendix and your clutch out your the pony, pony motor running if you flip this forward this piece here which is stuck course it will flip out and then it holds this down in the idle position so just idles and then it'll run itself out of fuel while it idles okay i got you but the pony has to run good enough for it not to die so most of the time they just, they just shut themselves off oh this thing's gonna purr what are you talking about oh it engages the bendix huh well i pulled it in but now it's stuck in there. oh look yeah you're you're turning the motor over yeah did it park oh yes Stop, stop me in. Well, the main engine is not stuck, so that's good. So what we'll probably have to do is open this guy up right here and then back that clutch way off. At least get the pony to start. Once we get the pony running, we can shut it back off and then readjust that clutch. I love it. They got the firing order right yeah, on the manifold. It's kind of nice, huh? <laughs> I thought it was going to be real cold. It's not bad in this barn. Any ideas how to get that Bendix out? I said, I think we can pop it out if we take that plate off or we can back the clutch way off. I'm surprised that clutch out. isn't uh, kicked out. Oh yeah. Did you get it? Yeah, this one's got spark. Does it? I got no spark on this one. Oh yeah, yeah that's a got a good one. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, oh I, I feel it. But it's probably coming through the manifold. Let's, uh, yeah, just switch the wires out. Let's put the fresh plugs on. We got ain't gonna run, run, but we got new spark plugs in there and new wires. That was a pop. Hey, Josh is getting greedy. <laughs> so we swapped the carburetor out. Gas tank was clean. Ran the fuel line down. Got new spark plug wires on it. Topped her off full of oil. Our governor arm didn't quite work, Josh, but we'll just have to manually watch that. Oh, yeah. Start puking a little out.
So John broke the sh top of the shaft off. Broke her tip off. She's been welded before. She was wanting to go, she was getting close. So now we're gonna have to pull the shaft out, weld it up, put it back on. Got this all cleaned up here. We're gonna try to stick weld this back up. This is the owner, Brian, that owns the dozer. They got her welded back up. What do you got? But, uh, just break the fuel tank from the strainer out. Yeah? The fuel is as clean as the day somebody poured it in. So what's the bad news? Oh, I broke your handle. <laughs> Oh boy. That's all right. Man, you're breaking stuff faster than I can fix it. <laughs> oh shit. Well, that's fixed. Look at that. That'll work. Yeah. That's cast iron. This will work here too, still. But I adjusted that clutch so it will actually engage properly. And then I pulled the uh, injection pump cover off on the rack side. Freed up, moving nicely. There we go. So everything looks good. That's the only bummer. So this pin right here, if you lift this pin up, okay. then this thing will rotate, you know? And you screw it in to tighten it. We'll go to the next, index to the next hole. How'd you break that handle off here? Oh, I gave it a yank and it, it was bent already, so it must have been I have more of kind of weak. Hmm. But, it's not the first time I've seen this broken. Don't no, break it off this time. Yeah, we we <laughs> walked out the door and we were sending it to fucking Idaho. Yeah, at Leavenworth. And, uh, Are you ready to go? Well, that wasn't bad. Rat go scurrying? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's plenty of fresh nests and stuff in there. Now we just need the uh, water. We just need water right now. Big bastard in gear. And Why'd you uh, forget the water? I don't know. Oh, you. You're busy, busy <laughs> fabricating. No? It actually sounded she good. Like yeah, she might, sounded she might good. actually sit there and run an idle and get her nice and warmed up. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like it likes to be on that certain compression stroke. Yeah, yeah, you gotta find that. Yeah. yeah we need some engine cocaine. Right here. We got starting fluid right there. Against the block now. Yeah, now we gotta try to release the. That's not good. I held out on it all I could, but <laughs> she was stuck. I had a feeling it was gonna start crawling. Yeah. Honestly, the thing to do would probably be yeah. to uh, throw a chain on it right now and then cut the cable. Oh, that's not a bad idea. But do we have anything to cut the cable with? Hmm. No. I almost wrapped my cordless uh, angle grinder too. Hold out on that lever. It's all the way out. Yeah, where you left the thing back and forth? The back and forth. Yeah. Well, it's not that as much as it is. Well, just the length. 
blanket just so stiff for him. Yeah, it's definitely the. Uh... You know what else we can do? We got a chain. We can uncouple that. There's a small U joint connecting the motor to that unit off of the front of the crank. Yeah, but I don't think they have caps like a regular universal. I forget. I looked at it online the other day. Because that would honestly, that would be the best way because then the blade is just going to stay up. This door you can't do any yeah. No, it shouldn't. Yeah, I can't push dirt with the blade up, guys. It well, we can find you a tree to push <laughs> over. They got lots of them around here. There's a big one over here. Yeah. So basically what happened was we went to start the pony motor when he engaged the big motor started rolling over the shiv in the front of the blade is stuck in the clutch and then the blade starts to raise i held the lever over as hard as i can but usually sometimes maybe they'll come up and hit against the shiv and break the clutch loose and the blade will drop back down but this one's stuck right now so we're up against you know the pony motor and the blade stuck so we're gonna have to cut the cable hook a chain on the the ROPs there, cut the cable and get the, the blade free so we can turn the motor over again. We're gonna see how this works out. They went to grab a cutoff wheel and a torch. Lovely weather today. Bet you the blade hasn't been up in 25 years, probably. Should we figure out who's cutting the cable? <laughs> Are we drawing straws, John? <laughs> yeah, watch your chain. Man, take a picture of that. <laughs> it is literally hanging by a thread. All right, you ready? I don't want to hold this because I broke it once today already. <laughs> Whoa, hey. she, goes. she almost took off down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, there's an adventure to be had today. Oh, yeah. No, we died. Yeah. <laughs> It'll stop when it hits Josh's new pickup. <laughs> Let me get up in there.
So basically this track here is working great, the steer clutch and everything. The other side was stuck and I started driving it back and forth and it broke loose. So now the other side is loosened up, but Brian said that his dad had adjusted that clutch open. So John's back here, he's gonna try to adjust this clutch back up tight to where the, the pad will touch again because the, the pad was opened up. So now it's not driving, so I only got this track, but uh, we're gonna try to adjust this maybe back up and see what happens. It's too bad the blade stuck or we'd run around pretty good with it, but just got so much weather on the front of that shiv up there, it just stuck the clutch. But not bad for sitting for over 20 years. I think I'm heating it. Yeah, you're right on it. Is it going? Yeah. Stop. Josh, do you see that flashlight anywhere? Uh, oh, it's over on the back. There we go. There we go. Felt like it moved. Looked like it got on the run a little bit. Is that all it did? Yeah, usually a little heat will go a long way. Yeah, it will. A little expansion sometimes. Yeah. Come on, baby, get on there. This end is a little warm. Did we have it before? It'd be like that. There you go. Oh. Sweet. Well, we got to move that. We got to do that other one. That might be a problem there. Which one? That. This is just the jam nut. What's oh the big one? Yeah. We got to move the big one now, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, the wrench I brought isn't big enough. Isn't the right size. So, uh, what's your plan on that? What uh, <laughs> a bullshit! My way through it somehow. <laughs> <laughs> You probably got an. We're gonna figure something out. If I have to pull this whole damn plate off, I will. Well, we got the dozer all backed up here into the, the barn and clutch on the steering is all working and the only thing that's still messed up is the shiv on the on the blade but yeah it's pretty cool we got her going huh john yeah it runs all right <laughs> i knew it would so the plan is josh and i are going to come back and get her probably in the spring but anyway hope you guys enjoy the video I know it's not saws, but I thought this would be kind of cool. Just out here messing around with this whole dozer. So thank you again, John. Not a problem, man. Thank Appreciate you. it, buddy.